hello friends in today's lecture we are going to discuss different selection criteria for the ideal sensor so sensor is a transducer used to make measurement of physical variable okay and basic function of sensor is to measure some features of the environment such as light sound pressure and convert that measurement into electric signal usually as a voltage or current signals so there are certain features which have to consider when we choose a sensor <coughs> so first criteria is the accuracy accuracy for ideal sensor so accuracy of the ideal sensor should be high then stability stability of ideal sensor means maintain under abnormal condition means stability should be uh, moderate or good then environmental condition usually has limit or limits for temperature and humidity okay then range so range is the maximum and minimum change in input signal to which the sensor can respond the sensors should have wide operating range okay means ideal sensor having or should should have wide operating range then next is the calibration essential for the most of the measuring device as a reading change with time okay then resolution the smallest incremental or smallest increment detected by the sensor means having good resolution power or cost is low okay means cost of idle sensor should be low then power consumption power consumption of idle sensor is low and repeatability the reading that varies is repeatedly measured under the same environment okay or it should shows same sensitivity over its entire operating range so these are the different selection criteria for the ideal sensor then next point is the range sensor so range sensors are generally used to find out distance between object and robot hand or uh, end effector so the distance between object and the robot hand is measured using range sensor within it is range in operation okay the calculation of the distance is by visual processing range sensor find the use in robot navigation and avoidance of the obstacle in the robot path okay so there are different methods or different approaches used in range sensor okay or uh, working in range sensor so first is the triangulation method okay and structural lighting approach and another one is the time of light range finder okay so these are the different approaches used in range sensor so in this case the sources of illumination can be light source or laser beam okay in uh, time of session okay so beams are based of ultrasonic so first method or first approach used in range sensor is the triangulation method okay so this figure shows triangulation method so it consists of emitter and receiver okay so small b or b is the distance between emitter and receiver and d capital d or small d is the total distance between object and sensor okay means you can directly find out distance d by using triangulation formula okay so this is the emitter okay this is the receiver or you can directly find out distance d by using triangulation formula so this is the triangulation formula d is equal to b into tan theta okay d is equal to b into tan theta you can directly use this equation numerical equation to find out exactly distance between uh, sensor and object or this is the, suppose this is the robot hand or robot end effector okay and this is the uh, this is the object and this is the robot end effector okay so you can directly find out distance between robot end effector and object by using triangulation method okay d is equal to this is the formula d is equal to b into tan theta So in the triangulation method the object is swept over by 
narrow beam of sharp light okay the sensors or sensor focused on small spot of the object surface to detect the reflected beam of light okay so you can easily find out distance between object this is the object okay and range sensors are directly fitted into robot hand or a robot end effector okay so d is the total distance between object and robot hand okay and another figure shows exactly mirror image okay or receive and receiver and enter okay or emitter and receiver so l1 is the total distance between or central distance between uh, center line and receiver and l2 is the total distance between center line and emitter okay so this is the another technique used in triangulation method okay so this is the simplest technique okay simplest technique of triangulation method okay d is equal to b into tan theta so d where d is the total distance okay b is the distance between uh, emitter and receiver okay and theta is the angle okay this is the theta theta is the angle between horizontal plane of the receiver and into angular rays okay so this is the theta angle so you can easily find out distance d by using this formula d is equal to b into tan theta so there are several approaches okay so this is the first approach triangulation method okay and generally range sensors are used to find out distance between object of the robot hand is measured by using a range sensor